I love chocolate. Anyone who knows me knows that I love chocolate. As a matter of fact, I am a card-carrying chocoholic. You give me chocolate and I am yours forever. That's why husband number three has been around so long because he always gives me chocolate. So today on the show, to celebrate Valentine's Day, I'm making a chocolate mousse that's heart healthy and tastes fabulous. It's also vegetarian. Here's to Valentine's and lovers. <laughs> Before we start the recipe, my sister got in touch with my cousin Charlotte, who lives in Newfoundland, because she heard that she had an amazing chocolate mousse recipe. So we've got her on a video call. And uh, we're going to talk chocolate mousse with Charlotte. Charlotte, I, oh, I can kind of see you. Hi! Can you see me? Charlotte, hi! I hear you. Hello. 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 Hello, Marilyn. I listen. I got. I got Rodney, my husband. He's shooting the camera, so let's give him a wave. Rodney, give her a wave. There you go. Oh, so we're out here. So, so Charlotte, um, you look like you're freezing out there. Is it really cold? I'm freezing my freaking arse off out here just for you, cause you're all oh, the clothesline broke. Oh, she know the wind is something fierce out here. Holy! Anyway, we're here. Thank you. Okay, Kathleen, she uh, got in touch with you and she told me about your chocolate mousse, that it was so good, and that, you know, and you have a secret ingredient. Oh, I do. I have an amazing recipe. I use a secret ingredient and it's, oh, give us a drum roll. Give us a drum roll. And it's whiskey. Big glog of whiskey, heavy on the gloggin. <laughs> I never thought of whiskey. That is such a great idea. Okay, my my secret ingredient is tofu. Well, what the hell would you do that for? That would be terrible. Oh, tofu? Are you out of your frickin' mind? No, I'm not. You know what happens is that when I, I, I put the tofu in, then that way I don't have to use whipping cream, and it still gets really creamy, and it's, it's actually vegetarian and heart healthy. Ah! <laughs> That close line's totally there goes all oh, there's that's my fanny fanny We're not talking about the same thing. Here's the oh the Northwester. Oh it's just brutal out here. It's the storm's coming, we gotta talk quick. Listen the the close line is just so anyway uh, we're talking about two different kinds of moose, Marilyn. I'm talking about M-O-O-S-E, and you're talking about M-O-U-S-S-E, okay? Two different... If your sister told me that it was a dessert, I got a great chocolate mousse that has another secret ingredient. I'm not even going to be offended. Okay, so what is your secret ingredient for your real chocolate mousse? Screech! <laughs> oh, nothing like a great spiced rum. Hey, oh, Charlotte... You're, you're cutting out. Oh, okay. Hey, well, Charlotte, if you can still hear me, um, okay, say hi to your mom and give love to Auntie Hack. Okay, so, uh, yeah, have a, have a good one. Thanks, and if we ever use the M-O-O-S-E, I'll, I'll call you again. Okay, bye. Bye. She's still there. Bye. I love her. Okay, no moose, M-O-O-S-E, just moose, M-O-U-S-S-E. <laughs> Let's get started. So my cousin Charlotte may think tofu is a yaccarino ingredient, but it's perfect in this uh, chocolate mousse. But you've got to pick the right tofu. So tofu is kind of like the cottage cheese of the bean world. It's pressed and sometimes it's really extra firm, sometimes it's soft and sometimes it's silken. The extra firm one is for stir frying or soups or something like, like you, you would not want to puree that. It, it's just, it's too hard. Okay. Now the soft one, which you can find in the uh, refrigerated section as well. Um, you could put this into a soft soup, but it also kind of falls apart a little bit easier too. So you could use the soft to tofu, but in my particular recipe, the one that I like to use is silken uh, soft and the silken is on the top of the label and watch when this comes out of the package it's like it's totally gush and this is the one that you want to use as a replacement for a whipped cream uh, in this recipe so firm soft silken soft 
Girls with Power Tools. Immersion Blender. I'm going to puree the silken tofu with the Immersion Blender. It needs to almost be liquefied and this is so much fun you can just do it for as long as you want. Now the chocolate. So I've got some dark chocolate here. The darker the better. I've got some honey and some pure vanilla extract. We're going to put this into our double boiler and start melting it. Chocolate first and uh, the honey and this is over a double boiler and you want to do it really gently and slowly turn on the heat now and you never want to uh, melt the chocolate all the way because when you do um, it can form crystals so you want to be careful about how far you melt it so it's almost melted is when you take it off the heat oven mint <laughs> Now, if you're really uh, a great cook and you love your microwave, you could actually melt the chocolate in the microwave, but if you over overheat it, it's toast, you've wrecked it, and those are criminal grounds. Actually, you can actually go to hell, uh, culinary hell for scorching chocolate. So um, only if you're a trained professional would I suggest that you do it in the microwave. Um, in increments, just little itty bitty increments. All right, so we'll just let this melt. I so want to lick this, <laughs> but I'm not going to, but I really want to. <laughs> oh, it's almost there. Okay, so there's only a, a couple of big pieces, so we're really close to time to take it off of the, the heat. <gasps> there it goes. Okay, so make sure you don't get any water in this or it's going to seize. And now I'm just going to mix it until those chocolate little chunks um, have totally melted. So that's the trick, is that you always take it off the heat before it's totally melted. Chocolate perfection. And now you scrape it all into your silken tofu that's been pureed and gorgeous. And get every last bit of chocolate that you can. Yum I. Okay, oven mitt off. And I'm just going to scrape some of this chocolate using the immersion blender because I want to get it all in there. And then I'll lick it later. And contact. <laughs> Add pure vanilla extract. Don't be using the fake stuff. In it goes. It's done, but it has to set. Can you hear me over the banging? <laughs> okay, and so I, I like to serve it in martini glasses. It makes me feel fun. Um, I'm just going to give it a little stir right in here to make sure that all the... <laughs> I got chocolate in my eye. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, anyway, I'll be blinded for the, uh, for the, uh, the, 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 <laughs> the St. Valentine's Day. And, and I'm just going to pour it in there like that. And it's going to set up in the refrigerator. And when it does, I seriously have chocolate in my eye. Uh, we're going to put a little orange kind of a curl on. And then you can use some of your, uh, your uh, grated chocolate. And there you have it. I've got the cold one over here that I'm going to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. You never know what's going to happen on my left frying pan. I've had wine up my nose and now chocolate in my eye. I wonder what will happen next. So till next time, I'm wishing you... Peace, love, and fiber. Oh, and don't forget to, uh, to uh, subscribe. You can click on my face over here. And over there, there's a recipe. I forget what it is. Anyway, till next time, be heart healthy uh, and have some chocolate on Valentine's Day. Mm, mm, mm. Mm.